So you wanna put a home inspection contingency into your offer. Well, as it turns out, home inspections are complicated and many times you may not be able to put in a home inspection or you may have to do some tweaking. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys a complete tutorial on how to think about, implement, and ultimately get that home inspection as frequently as possible so you are equipped with as much information as possible to make an informed decision. If you guys don't know me, my name is Sage Jankowitz. I'm a realtor based in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts. I've closed over 300 transactions in the last three years, and I've lived in and around Cambridge and Somerville for the last 10-ish years. If you guys like the content in this video, please take a second and of course to hit the subscribe link in the description below. There's also a Calendly link also in the description below. So make sure you hit that if you wanna hop in a free 15 minute call, but let's get into the video. All right, so let's start at the very beginning. What is a home inspection? A home inspection is someone comes to a property, they look at both the interior and exterior of that property. They're going to write up a complete report. Most home inspections will cover at a bare minimum, most of the major mechanical systems. It's gonna cover electrical, heating, plumbing. It's gonna look at the roof, look at the exterior and interior inside and out. Inspection typically takes two to four hours, depending on the size of the property. And then at the end of the inspection, they'll issue a report. Sometimes it's the same day, sometimes it's the next day, but it's usually a pretty quick turnaround. And that report will break down everything for you. So now you guys understand a little bit about what a home inspection is. How does this sort of play out in a buy-sell transaction? So basically what happens is you're gonna have a home inspection contingency, we call it, which will be added to the offer. And the home inspection contingency will typically have a time period for the inspection contingency to be satisfied. It's usually a relatively tight period of time of a couple days. So essentially after the offer is accepted, you have a window to get in there with your inspector, have them do their thing, get the report, and then make a decision to either proceed or not, or to renegotiate. The challenge with home inspections is really how it affects the seller. And for that matter, how sellers and sellers agents think about home inspections. So let's pause for a second as buyers, pretend we're sellers and we're getting that home inspection contingency. Well, there's a couple issues that can arise. The first potential challenge with the home inspection contingency is you might go in there, the home inspector comes in, they put together a report, you look at the report, you go over, you say, you know what, there's just too much wrong with this property, we're gonna back out of the deal. Well, if you're a seller, that's a big problem because when a property comes on for the first time, it's the hot new property on the block. Everyone's excited. As a seller, you have maximum leverage, oftentimes multiple offers. You can get the price going up, 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 and you can get usually top dollar. But once it goes under agreement and then goes back on the market, you've now lost most, if not all of your leverage as a seller. And generally this translates into a lower selling price with worse terms. So that's the first reason, right? As a seller, you really, really, really don't wanna be in a situation where you risk the property going off the market and then back on again. As a buyer, most buyers assume there must be something wrong with it. There isn't always something wrong with it, but that's the perception at least. Now, the second issue is that what happens with a lot of buyers with home inspections is they'll put together the inspection contingency, they'll get the inspection report, and inevitably something goes wrong because every inspection report has things that come up. There's always things that come up. And so the thing is, if things always come up, there's always something to be negotiated. And so that's the second piece. As a seller, you don't wanna be in a situation where someone is going to push on price bring it down, which often will happen. So if you have two similar offers as a seller, one has the inspection contingency and one doesn't, the one without it is significantly stronger from your perspective most of the time. Of course, there's multiple factors at play here, but that's definitely a knock on the terms of the offer. So hopefully that made sense. So as buyers, what do we do when the market's really competitive and it's very hard to win with an inspection contingency? Well, there is sometimes, not always, but sometimes the ability to get into the property before an offer deadline, before the seller's reviewing all the offers and do something called pre-inspection. I've heard a home inspection consultation. Different inspectors call it different things, but essentially a shortened version of the inspection. And this is an opportunity. It's usually not that two to four hour full inspection covering every little thing under the sun. It's usually more like 30 minutes to an hour. It's going to cover, generally speaking, high ticket items. That's what we're looking for here. Structure, electrical, plumbing, heating, roof, 
which are main items that are most likely, but not guaranteed to be the most expensive fixes. What you need to understand here is a couple things. A pre-inspection or whatever the inspector calls it is going to be not as thorough. It's not gonna cover everything under the sun. So you have to understand as a buyer, you're taking on some risk there that there might be, maybe they don't look at the windows and it turns out the windows don't latch correctly and one or two needs to be replaced. There's potential risk there that isn't gonna be covered and you need to understand that risk going into the pre-inspection. They also tend to be a little cheaper. Maybe they're like more like three to 600 bucks for a pre-inspection as opposed to a full inspection, which tends to be more like 500 to a thousand dollars, although that will vary depending on the inspector. The last thing to know with pre-inspections is generally you're not going to get a robust report. Some will include some kind of report. Many will include none, but basically say, reach out to me with any questions, any follow-ups, anything that comes up. So you need to just understand there's a pre-inspection, there's a full inspection, there's pluses and minuses to both. Sometimes you may simply not be able to put in an offer where you can get that full inspection depending on the circumstances. There's a couple other big things to consider with a pre-inspection that you need to understand. The first is that when you pay for pre-inspection prior to putting in an offer, there's a chance that you're gonna throw out three, four, five hundred dollars for this pre-inspection. You're gonna go there, you're gonna look it over, and then you're gonna determine, you know what, I don't feel comfortable proceeding to an offer. Well, you've just lost three to five hundred dollars. Now that may not be a big deal one time, but it's very plausible that you could be into a situation where you have two, three, four, five pre-inspections. And if you're paying four or five hundred bucks a pop, you can start spending thousands of dollars and have no home at the end of it. So you need to understand the potential downside of multiple pre-inspections. Now let's take a second to talk a little bit about market conditions, because this is really a big one, guys. Market conditions will determine how possible it is for you to get any type of home inspection. About a year or two ago, it was very, very difficult. I never say impossible, but very close to impossible to win with a full inspection contingency in your offer. So your option was either to look at the property, take the leap of faith, put in the offer with no inspection contingency, which is not a great feeling, or do the pre-inspection and potentially risk having one, two, three, five, ten pre-inspections before you ever get anything under agreement. So that was really not an ideal situation. As of the shooting of this video in early March 2023, I'm seeing a lot of inspections come back. Pre-inspections are becoming much more doable. I find a lot more listing agents working with me on those on the buy side. And even putting an inspection contingency into the offer is much more doable. The market is becoming more balanced, which I think is really in everyone's best interest. So it's really a time is of the essence situation. And so you really wanna lean on your agent to understand what is possible at any given time. So you understand how you can be most competitive, but also protect your best interests. Some other quick final notes on home inspectors before I kind of get to my final conclusions here. First, understand that a home inspection is very, very thorough, especially the full one that's two to four hours. But sometimes there's just certain things that aren't included or there's certain things that are hidden. You know, a home inspector cannot see what's behind certain walls. If the roof has snow on it, they're not gonna be able to see the condition of the roof. So you need to understand that sometimes there's information that's just going to come up after you buy a house Usually the first year when you buy a house, in my experience, there's always gonna be some things and you need to just have some wiggle room and understand that there's no foolproof way to get to the bottom of every little thing under the sun with the home inspection. I know it's really frustrating, but you just need to kind of understand this is the deal. You gotta get the best information you can, especially around the high ticket items, the potential bombs that can blow up that can really wildly change the value of a property. You wanna take care of those, but understand there's gonna be some things that likely can and will come up. The second thing to know Note about home inspectors is they're generalists. They're not specialists, okay? So there's been plenty of times where a home inspector says, I think you should look into this further. I think you should get a structural engineer or electrician out here. I'm seeing a potential issue. Then we get the specialists out there and they say, you know what, it's totally fine. Other times the specialist comes in and they're like, they were spot on or no, not that, but there is this other issue. So think of them almost like a general contractor, but not a specialist. They're gonna flag potential issues, but you really ultimately need to have that specialist to come in to get to the bottom of things, to understand what's really going on there and if there's potential things that need to be fixed. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys a couple recommendations. Recommendation number one is to go with a reputable home inspector. Not all home inspectors are created equal. 
And so I really look for home inspectors that I trust, that I think they really give good advice and they're truly experts in their field. So the first thing I look for is I look for ASHI certified home inspectors. This is a certification. It's a certain number of hours that a home inspector actually needs to spend before they can become certified. So I only work with ASHI certified home inspectors. I recommend you do the same. The second thing is it lean on your realtor for recommendations. And this is kind of a tricky one. And I want to be very frank here. There are realtors out there who are going to recommend a home inspector sometimes who is a little too loosey goosey and is not stringent enough. And I think it's a real concern. I have seen it happen before. So here's my general advice. And this goes to point number three. There are some home inspectors who are again, too loosey goosey. They don't flag anything. And to me, that's a concern because every home inspection should find things and you don't want that. There are other home inspectors that are alarmist and that are going to every time freak you out to the point where you never buy a home and you constantly are freaking out and over worrying in my opinion. What you really want is someone who's extremely thorough and who can explain every little thing under the sun. But the most important thing is they can put things in context for you. They should be able to tell you, okay, this is a very serious thing. And if it were me, I'd walk away from this home or this is a not so serious thing and it's probably okay and I see this all the time. A good home inspector should put things into context. Understand home inspectors aren't supposed to tell you how much things can cost, although some will. Sometimes I can help you with that as well. But generally speaking, you want to kind of find that nice middle ground. I find that's the sweet spot. Again, the alarmist will scare you from every single deal and you're just never going to be under agreement. And that could be a real issue. And then the other end, the loosey goosey one is just trying to move on to the next one. And they're not going to call out all the things that you need to be aware of. So find that middle ground, a good, ethical realtor will help you find that person. Next up with home inspections, understand current market conditions. And again, this is an area where you should really lean on your realtor. A good realtor can tell you, we're in a time right now where if you feel you need a home inspection contingency, you're not gonna probably be able to buy a house for the next two years. Or we're in a time right now where absolutely you can include it. Or this property has been sitting for a long time and therefore a home inspection contingency should be a non-issue. Or this is a situation where we should do a pre-inspection so you can have the peace of mind, but also be able to waive that home inspection so we're actually competitive on the offer. Only a good realtor who's living and breathing this stuff can provide that kind of level of advice. My next piece of advice, and this is a general home search thing, but it definitely applies here. Try and get into the home as early as possible. When you can get into a home on a Thursday or Friday and the offer deadline is a Monday or a Tuesday, that gives you at least the weekend and maybe even Monday morning to find a home inspector that you trust, schedule them and get them in prior to the deadline and work with the seller and seller's agent to get yourself in there. If you can only look at properties on a Sunday afternoon, you have a very tight runway and window there to get someone in for that potential pre-inspection. So build in as much time as possible to maximize your chance of getting a home inspector in prior to the deadline so you can have that peace of mind. And finally, the last piece, when you get that home inspection report, I think it's always a good idea to hop on a call with that inspector, then hop on a call with the realtor, and then you can help figure out how to proceed. Does it make sense to renegotiate? Should you be thinking about backing out? What are the actual costs involved? Is it worth hopping on a quick call with a specialist, which a good real estate professional should be able to connect to a specialist who can help answer questions about a particular thing that might be coming up on the report. So you really wanna be able to digest that report, feel good about it, and figure out how to proceed. And then finally understand, are there certain scenarios where it might be worth taking on the risk of not putting in that home inspection. Depending on your level of experience, if you're a developer, if you've owned a lot of homes, if you're handy, if you feel like you're in a place where you can take on some level of risk, occasionally it can make sense to remove that altogether. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys feel like you have a more robust understanding of the home inspection process. There is a lot to it. Feel free to hop on a Calendly link, shoot me a text if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you guys next time.